we're off. Good morning. Let's roll it around as I switch cameras or instruct the cameraman to do so. And we're going back and forth across the knuckles. And up and down the fingers. And across the thumb pads, let's roll it. Uh, come here, you. Yes. <laughs> and then across the pad below the ink, pinkies. It's out Saturday. Interlace the fingers and compress. One, two, three, and let go. And one, two, three, and let go. And one, two, three, and let go. So let's bounce. Obviously, this ball wants to bounce this morning. Bingo, on the floor. We've been assessing all along, so we'll just step on it right in the middle. One, two, three, up to the knuckles. Going across. And scooting it across the knuckles. Rotating on the heel. Let's bring it back to the top of the heel and pivot on the toes. And then bring it just below the first knuckle and press down. Pull it down slightly to the side of the top of the heel and press down. And then over to the middle of the fifth metatarsal and press down. Roll it down each of the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, and reassess. Bring it to the other foot, press down. Knuckles. Rotate on the heel. Hmm. This ball wants to be free. Down to the top of the heel, rotate on the toes. down below the first knuckle, side of the top of the heel, the torso, rolling down the bones. And scribble. Let go, get the ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree, or do the limb energy bounce, or do both.
Centering, two deep breaths. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And center, two breaths. And some ocean wave breathing. Enter to deep breaths. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine gather in starlight. Other side. Center to deep breaths. Third, marching in place or jogging. With 15 seconds, uh, 15, 21 seconds, 21. I'm gonna go all out, but you don't have to. Just do what you feel like doing. Keep the same pace. Go a little bit harder if you want. Do some side jacks or jumping jacks, or rabbit squats. I'm gonna do isometrics today, FYI. I'm just gonna sprint. Be safe in five, four, three, two, one, two. Twelve. Sixteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Two deep breaths. Put those hands together. Form a chi ball. Shift the weight from 
one leg to the other. Substantial. To insubstantial. As the chi wall guides us. And center, two breaths. Let's hinge at the waist, bending knees slightly, hands towards the floor. Stretch those hamstrings and then inch out into a pike. Push those heels back into the ground. Stretch the calves. And come down on all fours. Put one hand behind the head as an antler and lift up to the side, stretching the trunk and then put that hand down, go to the other side and stretch. And come down, lie down, put your arms in front of you and bring one leg behind your back and stretch. Roll over and bring the other leg behind your back. You come on your back, cross your ankle over your thigh. And like so, and press on the knee of the leg that's crossed. Press it away from you. Opening up that hip flexor. You might want to bring the other leg a little bit closer for a better stretch. And then wrap your arms around the thigh of the leg whose sole is on the floor. Bring it up and pull towards you. And let it down and reverse. Other leg comes across. Press back on the knee. And then grab the thigh of your other leg and pull both legs towards you. And now roll over. Come back to all fours, up to a pike. Inch your way back. Pause for a second. Stretch of those hamstrings once again. And slowly come up. Yeah. 
and let's shrug. And roll the shoulders back. And forward. And cross the arm right at the neck and press back on the elbow. And then the other arm. And one arm behind the back and press down. And then the other. Let's interlace the fingers, bring them up over the head. And reach for the sky, or at least the ceiling. Go back into an extension if you can do extensions. Otherwise, keep reaching straight up. Come back and to one side. And then the other. Coming down slowly, pressing out at the chest and down. Interlace the fingers behind the back and lift up. A little more. And down. Extend the arms and rotate. And then the other direction. Thumbs are up and down, up and down, up and down. Bring the arms in and rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. And put one hand on the side of the head and press. This is our first isometric of the day, the neck isometric. Pressing in with your hand as you press your head against the palm. And then the other side. And behind your head and press back. And palm in front of your head on your forehead and press forward. And let's do ear to shoulder, both sides. And look over your shoulder. And then the other.
And let's grab a stick. Do some flip flops. Bring the stick up and behind if you can. Two. Put the stick behind you and the crook of the elbows and twist. Keep twisting or if you can do an extension, do so. And come up, tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. Bring the stick back up the front. Let's do some lateral swings. And the other direction. Push out. Push to one side. And then the other. Reverse the grip and flop the wrist. Come down and do some curls. Put the stick in front. Pick up one leg by the toes, stretch the ankle and the quad. And then the other. And since we're doing isometrics, we're going to hold on the toes for 20 seconds if we can. Up. One, two, three. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then back on the heels. One, two, three. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 1920 and now. Okay. Um, you might want to hold on to your stick for this or have a chair in front of you. We're going to do one of those deep squats. So you want to spread your legs, toes facing out, and go down as low as you can. You don't need a stick, you don't have to use one. One, two, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and then come on up. I think we could put the stick aside for a bit. Prayer pose at the chest. Press in. Nineteen and twenty. Now just um, put your fingertips together and press in. And 20 biceps. Twenty. Your um, one palm is down and open on the side of your hip. The other palm meets it and press up as you press down. Self arm wrestling. And then reverse positions on the other side. Twenty and come back. We're going to stand on one leg. You might want to use the, um, you know, uh, a pole or be next to the wall or a counter or a chair. We're going to hold for twenty if we can. One, two. Twenty, and again, you you can even hold your leg like this. It's a combination of balance and isometrics. Six, seven. Twenty, great. Um, let's get down on the ground just for one thing, and that's the plank. Or you don't have to get on the ground. You can do a plank against the wall, um, palms against the wall, or your elbows. Just engage your core and hold. You can do it on your knees with your forearms extended or you can do it from your toes. Let's start. One, two. Engaging the core, keeping the spine neutral. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And we'll get back up. Now we're going to do one more deep squat, see if it feels any different this time around. Coming down, I know I'm getting lower. One, two. Seven, eight.
17, 18, 19, and 20. And back up. Center, two deep breaths. And let's open our hearts. Holding that breath and exhaling as we send all that energy back out. Inhaling on the way in. Pause, center, two deep breaths through the nose. And bring it out, heavenly chi. Heading down to the earth, gathering it up. And oh, ah. Namaste. Hey, Hal. Hey, how you doing? I am good, Don. Hello, Diana. Hello. Um, Thanks. I don't know good? why. I don't know why it shows up as James' iPad, but that's me, Diane. Yeah, that's what I, I, I've, I've come to figure that out. Um, I don't know why it shows up as my midsection there. Gonna, oh, goodness. I, oh, there we go. All right, there we go. That cameraman. All right. So uh, today is a, a, a yin yoga, zen yoga, whatever you want to call it day. I got to put on my timer here. I got to turn it up. And uh, if you want to get down on the ground, I'll review the um, movements when we get down there. And timer. That's it. Okay. Make sure it's up. So again, we're going to start with the cat. Well, let me move the camera again. starting with a cat and then a cobra and then a cat. Heel sit, child's pose, heel sit, knees to chest, corpse pose, knees to chest and corpse pose. And that's it, six minutes, it's 30 seconds each. Um, you'll hear it on the timer. I will call out what we have to do um, each time before. And um, again, there's variations on the cat. 
and there's variations on the COBRA. And if you want me to email you those instructions, I will gladly do that. If you can't do um, the uh, extensions in particular. All right, ready in 10, nine, Okay, cat. Cobra. Catch. You'll sit. Child's pose, you can put your hands straight out in front of you or by your side. Or... You'll sit. And we do knees to chest. Needs the chest. And cross.
Namaste. Namaste, Tom. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have a great Sunday. I'll see you uh, on Monday, I hope. You will. Bye. All right. Great. Bye-bye. Um, Take care, Hal. Uh, by the way, they didn't, they didn't record that. They didn't? Oh. Uh, but, uh, but they're doing something else for me. Uh, I, I'll, you'll be able to see it. Okay, great. See, I'm going to miss Monday, but I'll see you Tuesday. Okay. Have okay. a great, good time. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So long from us, and thank you. So long, Tom. How are you feeling, Bill? Well, I don't want to go into a laundry list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but thanks for asking. Okay. <laughs> I'll write you a note. All right. See you later, Ava and Hal. Uh, Ava and Yol. I'll see Hal too. But now uh, you you're muted. You muted me. I did not mute myself. I, I know. I muted everybody. I didn't pick you out. I didn't see you out. No, I said that I hope that we'll see Maureen also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's a regular, you know. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.